Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am gonna show you, how you can create a registration form using PHP, Ajax and vanilla JavaScript. So let's start now. This is my registrations video form. So, I am going to use this form in my video. First of all, create a folder called vanilla.js form. Under this folder, create a file called index.php. So, this is the code for my form. Now, we have to perform a function on this submit button. So add, onclick attribute to this submit button. This code means, when we click on this input type, this function will be called. Let's create this function using JavaScript. This open method is used to send the type of request to the server. This property defines a function to be executed when the ready state changes. This property holds the status of the XML HTTP request. This property holds the status of this object. Now, we will create this file. Before writing the code, let's create a database connection file. Now, we will create a database. Under this DB, create user table with six columns. I am giving the column names. This is the structure of the table. As you can see, our database table is created. Now, let's write the code for database connection. Include the connection file in form in .php. In this folder, I have created a style.css file. This is my CSS for this form. Let's 
Let's include it in index.php. Let's continue our code for form in .php file. This code means, if any of these fields is empty, then this message will be shown. Let's check this code. Oops. It's not working. Let's check our code again. Go to index.php file and check the Ajax code again. First of all we have to add a prevent default method to this submit button. I had put the display of this div section to none, so we have to make it block using Ajax. Correct this method also. Let's check our code now. As you can see, it is working now. Now, we will write the code to validate the email field. Next, we will write the code to upload the image file. First of all, create a folder called uploads under this folder. Let's include this uploads folder in foreman.php file. This code means, if email is invalid, then this message will be shown, otherwise the file will get upload. This code means, if this file input is not empty, then this message will be shown. If any error occurred in uploading the file, then this message will be shown. Let's check this code. Oops. Error occurred. Let's check our code. Correct this code. Now let's check again. Our code is working properly. Let's write code to insert it in the database. First of all, convert the password in encrypted form using password hash. Let's write the insert query. This message will be shown when file input is empty. Let's check the code on browser.
As you can see, our data is successfully inserted in the database. Let's make this message bold. So this is it for today. Hope you liked and learned something from this. If you do, then hit a like and subscribe to my channel. Bye.